Welcome back to E-Times live streaming coverage from Embedded Systems Conference 2011. I'm Brian Fuller, Editorial Director of E-Times, and in the brief break we just took there, the beer fairy came by and just deposited these. You know, when you were a kid, the tooth fairy came and put a buck, you know, and the tooth fell out and put it on this. When you're an adult, the beer fairy comes by if you work hard enough. And so uh, I'm uh, pleased, thrilled, and um, just over the moon to see my good friend John Brueggemann. It's great uh, to see you, Brian. From Cadence here. Um, if you saw any of our design con coverage with John, it um, pretty much set the bar for how we want to do these things going forward. Um, not a lot of people yet are learning, but um, you are the Zen master. Thank you. Let me explain video. the beer really quick. Yeah, please do. We're here at ESC, and, and I spent a couple hours yesterday afternoon a um, little bit of time this morning and I saw there's a lot of thirsty people and I told my my cadence team if we could do anything for the embedded system conference anything for system developers most important thing let's quench the thirst and so we're hosting every beer bash um, morning noon and night here at ESC so if you're thirsty come join us we'll be having a beer well at DesignCon I don't know if you guys saw it but we did um we did a video segment called uh, the first beer of the second day of Design Con, um, and there was a line uh, because it went off at five o'clock or something like that. So we videoed this long line of thirsty engineers, and then um, the uh, the pouring of the first beer and the drinking of the first beer by a young lady, and then we interviewed her, and it was uh, it was one of the most popular videos we've done all year long. Wow, <laughs> the, the bar is tremendously low. Yeah. <laughs> the words beer, though, John, are magical. Uh, they're magical, I think, to most humans, but um, especially to engineers. See, you bet, because some of the best designs have been done under heavy influence of beer. So yes. here, here's to innovation, and here's to ESC. Here's to ESC, here's to you. And speaking of, of words, system design suite uh, are three words that are uh, top of mind at Cadence, and also the words open, scalable, and connected. These are cool little coasters. So that was a brilliant segue, yeah. brilliant. Tell us about it. Well, we made a announcement yesterday, and I've been doing this for a lot of years, I'm embarrassed to say approaching 30 years, and it's been rare and pleasurable when you get to introduce real breakaway or breakthrough technology. And I think we had the opportunity yesterday to um, announce such a, a technology where there is a true discontinuity. And it's, it's an unusual area for Cadence because we're actually now working with system developers, the software uh, developers, in parallel with the hardware developers. So what we announced was the system development suite, a suite of four products, virtual prototyping, emulation, uh, FPGA prototyping, and test bench simulation, all deeply integrated as a single suite. Similar to what you might see in the consumer space, you know, four products designed from the ground up to work together. Whereas these technologies are not new technologies, there's a number of virtual prototyping vendors and a number of FPGA prototype vendors and on and on and on, but, but they've all grown up completely fragmented, completely proprietary, yeah, yeah. and standalone. And our view is that if you really want to truly impact system development time, system development cost, we have to deliver on the long-told promise of concurrent software development, concurrent with hardware, concurrent software and hardware development. And the only way you're going to get there is if I can start to do software design pre-RTL, if I can do software development debug during RTL, and if I can do it post. And if, if you can't satisfy the entire development process, and it really requires different tools, then you don't have a, a good solution. And if the solutions don't work together, if I have to create models to use in this technology, recreate the models here, recreate the models here, you're never going to solve the time and cost problem. So we're real excited about what we put out yesterday. Um, we thought ESC was the perfect place to do it. We actually thought, E Times was the, the perfect media to understand it, and we're thrilled at, at the response so far, just 24 hours in. So yeah, I, this is a huge uh, announcement for you guys, and you kind of preempted my next question, which was why ESC when DAC is only 
a month away, and we'll talk about what you and I are going to be doing at DAC mm -hmm. as well. But so, so why ESC? Well, a couple things. One, we've got enough cool other stuff to do at DAC, and I think if you have the opportunity, come see Cadence at DAC because you think we had surprises at ESC. Wait till you see what we have at DAC. Uh -oh. But more importantly, more importantly, this really is our first monstrous foray into the system space. Um, our, our demo included a Facebook app developer working, so working in Facebook on top of Android, okay. on top of a virtual model of hardware that didn't exist, and able to actually start doing Facebook application programming. So the Farmvilles, um, better watch out because there's a whole slew of, of developers that are now enabled to do creative stuff way in advance of hardware availability. That belongs at ESC. Wow. That's, that's what the Embedded Software Conference needs to be talking about. Cool, well, thanks for doing it here. Now, in a month's time, mm -hmm. uh, we're partnering to bring uh, another round of live streaming to uh, DAC in San Diego. Uh, and it's under the, the rubric of DAC 360, uh -huh. which uh, is a riff on EDA 360, yep. which is your whole um, strategy and message around bringing the complete solution to design engineers. Sure. So I'll tell you, I, I watched with interest at TechCon, and I paid attention. I watched an, a number of, of the segments that you did. I think this is important. I think getting live, real-time response right from the people while they're here is a big deal. Um, I was thrilled to be able to come and participate today, but more importantly, I want to see it continue on. And, yeah. and I'm excited about what we can do at DAC 360 together. I'm excited about this living beyond DAC, and it's been a great and wonderful partnership with you. Well, you know what? You, uh, I'm very grateful. Thanks very much. Of course. And uh, in a month's time, we're going to be back. Uh, and we're going to be back with John and his cohorts from Cadence, and it's going to be a wild ride. A very, very wild ride. Okay. So, uh, so check it out. We'll be on Ustream. And um, that's it for our segment with, uh, with John. We're going to go off and drink some more beer right now. Uh, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes, I believe, with our next guest. Uh, and probably no beer at that point. So uh, stay tuned. Don't go far. We'll be right back.